We are down to just hours from Joe Biden being sworn in as the 46th president of the United States of America. And today he arrived to a city occupied with National Guard troops and a capital surrounded by razor wire. News 8 Steve Price has more on the level of security tonight in Washington and in Sacramento. More than 20,000 National Guard have arrived in Washington, D.C. to beef up security for tomorrow's inauguration. Our local representatives say despite the threat of domestic terrorism, they're going to be there to send an important message. I feel very strongly that we cannot let this angry mob, we cannot let these insurrectionists get in the way of our democratic traditions. Representative Sarah Jacobs says she feels confident that security around the venues hosting events Wednesday will be prepared for everything, and she's not alone. They're not messing around, and uh, there's tanks all the way along um, the various streets. Um, and uh, it is a unique experience um, to me. It's Representative Scott Peters' third inauguration, but this one promises to be like no other in history. So many streets blocked off, security so tight, he told me he still hasn't figured out exactly how he's going to physically get to the swearing-in ceremony. We're coming up with a turn-by-turn -turn kind of matrix tomorrow um, because the Capitol is so fortified with with troops, literally um, thousands of troops that are blocking off a lot of the streets. Together, we put the American people back in charge of our country. In his farewell address to the nation Tuesday, President Trump addressed the growing fear that extremist groups may try to disrupt the inauguration. Political violence is an attack on everything we cherish as Americans. It can never be tolerated. In Sacramento, they are also taking no chances with the National Guard protecting the Capitol. There has been no specific threat here, but the mayor said these days you don't know what is and isn't a target, so it's better to be prepared. Meanwhile, in the nation's capital, because of the pandemic, there will be a much smaller crowd in D.C. for the inauguration, so that should help with security as well. Representative Peter says he usually gets 60 guest passes for the inauguration. This year, he got just one. Without question, it's an inauguration unlike any other. Steve Price, News 8. And here's a look at our coverage for tomorrow. We start at 5 a.m. on the CW with News 8 this morning. CBS's special inauguration coverage starts at 6 a.m. with the swearing in expected at 9 a.m. That's noon D.C. time. We will take over again at 1 p.m. with a special edition of News 8, followed by our regular afternoon shows. And then at 8.30 tomorrow night, the primetime special Celebrating America, hosted by Tom Hanks. You can find specifics about the ceremonies and the celebrations by going to our website, cbs8.com, and on the News 8 app.